Hi everyone, it's Leslie from Hungry Heavy Crafts. I hope you're having a great weekend. And I've got a card to share with you today featuring this little turtle from Lawn Fawn and quite a bit of die cutting. And I've also incorporated some brush lettering onto this card today as well. When you don't have a stamp, just make it up. <laughs> okay, so for starting off today, I'm using this stamp set with a little turtle on it. Or actually, it's a tortoise, I think. And it's from Lawn Fawn, the year two belated birthday set. And I wanted him to be, well, I wanted him to be speedy and that's why I want it to be a play on words. So behind him, I'm going to be doing some clouds of smoke. But first of all, let's get him ready to rumble. I want him to have a little crash helmet on him. So I've picked this, one of these little headgear things from the Lawn Fawn Holiday Party Animal set. And I'm masking it off and then I'll stamp the turtle on top. And that means that I can get the little helmet on top of his head. I've also cut a, a strip of post-it tape and curled the edges or um, trimmed off on a, on a curve each of the edge and put it right in the middle of where his shell will be. And that's because I'm going to draw on a little sticky plaster or band-aid on his, onto his back. I'm going to be using Copic markers to color this in today. So I am using a Copic friendly marker. I think this is actually the Copic marker itself, the 0.3 one. And I put it, putting a little rectangle in the middle and a few dots to make it look more like a band-aid. And what, for the little plumes of smoke, I'm using some of the Mama Elephant Stitched Landscape Tree, or the cloud one. But I'm also going to be mixing that up with some of the Lawn Fawn Stitched Hillside Borders, just so that it's not just a um, like a curly cloud but also a wave on it as well and I like the way that the stitching kind of matches up and I thought that I would play around and see if I could make something a bit more like smoke um, coming out the back of this little guy as he zooms along. So I've cut out two little bits of little plumes of smoke. This bottom one I'm going to add some fluffy bits onto the bottom but I know that I only want it to die cut up to a certain point. So when running it through my die cutting machine, I make sure that the plate only goes up to that point. And this helps me figure out exactly where it's going to cut and where it's going to emboss those lines. So this little guy is going to go on the right like this. And the, the left hand side, you can see it's a little uneven, but that's okay because I'm going to be cutting that off as it overhangs the edge anyway. I do have the coordinating guy for the turtoise, but Obviously the hat is bigger than his head. So I'm putting some tape over his head. And like I mentioned before, to do some partial die cutting, I only put the tape, I mean the plate, over the bit that I know that I want to cut out. So this way I've got his body cut out, but I'll need to trim out the rest of his head and the helmet with my scissors. So there we go. He's ready to rumble. Now I don't have a stamp that says wishing you a, but I do have this stamp set which has best wishes, missing you, and then it says a little note at the bottom. So I can use the partial stamping technique by masking off some of the letters that I don't want using some washi tape. And I'm going to ink that up with some Versamark ink and emboss it. The reason I'm doing it, the embossing with it, the heat embossing, is that it is much easier to cover up any mistakes. So if, for example, my stamping wasn't perfect, I'm able to brush away any of the embossing crystals that I don't want and then move on to the next bit. And that means that it's a little bit more forgiving, shall we say. So just out of a, a, a note to you guys, this is actually a stamp set by Clearly Besotted. It's called Sentimental Type. It's pretty new to my stash but I love it already because there's so many different great sayings in there and it's quite a, a basic font it's nothing too fancy but you can make a lot of words out of it and this is one of my favorite techniques to, to do to make sure that I get more mileage out of my stamps so now I have it all done you can see there very vaguely on the camera I have embossed it white on white because I am going to be inking the background, but I'm not sure what color it's going to be yet. So first of all, I'm going to move over and do my brush lettering. I'm using a double zero brush. 
and I've laid a piece of that piece of card on top of a piece of um, card that I'm going to be working on just so I have a visual um, there for how wide the actual card base is going to be. I'm using my watercolors and I'm making up a little puddle of black paint and I want to make sure it's nice and juicy so that it almost looks like or feels like ink when I'm dipping my brush in and out. So if you've seen me on Instagram, you may have noticed that I've been getting very much into my watercolour painting recently and been playing around with some blush, brush lettering. So I thought it, I would put some more brush lettering onto my cards. So now a little Copic colouring. I've got the colours mentioned at the top. He is really tiny, so he doesn't really need this much work. But um, I'm using my YGs to bring in some green tones colouring in as a shell as well and I'm adding a little bit of the W3 just to tone some of it down it was a little bit too bright for what I wanted For the band-aid I'm using some E00 and E21 and then for his helmet I wanted to add a few more stars. It kind of looks like a, a crash helmet or a bike helmet now and obviously a little chin strap as well. And I'll just use some of my R05 and R46 markers to bring in some red tones. Okay so this is my card base and I've got the brush lettered piece at the bottom as well. The piece of card is a little bit bigger than five and a half so I was able to use my large stitch rectangle die from Lawn Fawn to trim it out so it's got a nice stitching around the outside edge. I did the same with some blue cardstock and I'm going to be adding some inking using a mask. This is a mask I cut out of acetate using my Silhouette Cameo. It's in my stash. I have probably used it before in some of my videos. And I'm using the Broken China Distress Ink to add some blue rays onto that. Then I can assemble and stick on the brush lettered piece and these little plumes of smoke. And the top one I stuck straight onto the background of the card, but this front piece I'm going to raise up with a few foam pads. So my little guy is gonna go right here. Let's stick him on. There we go. And we'll trim off this bit that overhangs the edge. So I'm sticking this onto a standard note card. And I'm going to move back to my embossed piece that says wishing you. Because I use some broken china distressing on the background of the card, I'm using that again to cut out, or sorry, to add some ink to the back of my embossed piece. And I wanted to use this banner die just to give it a bit more of a whimsical feeling. To center it up, I cut out a piece of, I cut the banner out of a piece of scratch cardstock and then laid the, in, um, the banner inside it. And that will help me know exactly where I want the die to cut. There we go. Perfectly centered. I just needed to add a little bit more blue onto one of those corners. So I'm going to stick this flush onto this top piece because it already is raised up and uh, this needs to go to, through the post to my Uncle Bob who is, has just had an operation. So thank you very much for watching the video today. I hope that you liked it. Please do give it a big thumbs up or subscribe if you want to see more of my projects. And to Uncle Bob, get well soon. Bye. Have a great week.